When George first asked me to uh, play the voice of Gloria, I thought he was joking. I was so excited the first film when I went, I had no idea that I would be the first song, and that was enough for me. I mean, I, I get excited still. Yeah, it's nothing I'd ever done before. I was really excited, and, and you just fall instantly in love with George. Gloria is very um, mama bear. She, she does. She loves her man. She loves her kid. She's the perfect sort of... She's exactly what I hope to be between my man and my child is that perfect middle ground to help them understand each other where each one can feel safe and loved and I think she does that perfectly. Um, plus she speaks through song. She's, she's just... She's very loving and, and very strong. Eric and Mubble have an, a terrible fight. Gloria's down below. She's trapped. She can't get to her baby. And the only... He, she can't calm him down. The only way that she can touch him is through song. And that's a daunting task, especially when you're working with John Powell and, and George and you've heard all of these songs that, they're, that have already been written and, and the songs that they're thinking of that for that part, but can you write one? And you're thinking, oh my God, hell no. I can't do this. And then I went into the studio with Billy Mann and we just thought, we have to write the best song that we've ever written in our entire world. But let's not take it too seriously. And as soon as we stopped thinking about all of that and the pressure of it all, and, and we just thought about how do you Vocally, even just emotively, maybe forget the lyrics, forget the music, just vocally and emotively, how am I going to get to someone and comfort them? I had never done any voiceover work before, and I walked in on the first day, and Brad Pitt and Matt Damon were sitting in there, and they're playing Krill, and they're doing a part where they're flying through the ocean off of backs of this and that, and... <laughs> And in the middle of it, Brad Pitt turns to me and goes, this is the no shame zone. And then goes, <laughs> and it was just so funny. I was like, right, cool. We're all going to be idiots and, and this is how it is. And we're going to stand, it's in a studio, which is my home. I feel very comfortable in a studio. So it was, it was interesting.